Welcome back to Wembley. It's cup final day. It's a, a bright afternoon and you caught sight there of the band of the Royal Marines down there on the pitch. Uh, the teams, Arsenal and Sheffield Wednesday, are both on their way. And as I understand it, Mr Terry Venables is on his way up to the studio and we'll be talking to him about yesterday's uh, dramatic incidents at Tottenham in a few moments' time. Meanwhile, Gary Lineker, of course, played here in two FA Cup finals, a winning one with Tottenham and a losing one with Everton. Gary is about to kick off his season in Japan with his club Grampus 8 in the so-called J-League. From the serene to the ridiculous. Japan is getting switched on to soccer. And the jewel in the marketing crown of Japan's new league. For Lineker and Japanese football, it's a big weekend. It's historic, really. It's the first ever professional league in Japan. They've been working towards it for years. It's called the J League. There's ten teams in it. We're one of them. And um, the players, the people, everybody's... Uh, they're just hugely excited by the whole thing. And when the Japanese put their minds to something, more often than not, they find success. The work ethic is very important to them. And after a lengthy period of voluntary redundancy, Gary Lineker goes back to work tomorrow. Lineker's job description is goal scoring. And in the home of the seven samurai, Japan now has Grampus 8. New team, new league, same old song. Grampus is the legendary killer dolphin that once saved the city of Nagoya. Eight is thought to be a lucky number. And the Japanese think they're more than lucky to have recruited Lineker. In a country where personal honour is everything, it was felt he'd be the perfect signing. There's a lot of expectancy, that's true. And um, of course, I'll feel some responsibility and, and hopefully it'll go well. I, I enjoy all that, to be honest. I enjoy the pressure and the expectancy. And, and sometimes I need it to motivate myself. And such is that expectancy. Lineker has quite literally bent over backwards to make sure he's in top condition. He's trained twice a day for just on three months. In fact, he's claiming the title of fittest person in the club. We did some fitness tests at um, a place that you probably compare with Lily Shaw in England the other day, and uh, I sort of came out top, which was a bit of a surprise for an old boy. Your coach must have been pleased. Um, surprise, I think. He said, you only have 4.7% fat. I am very surprised. J-League rules say Grampus can use three foreign players per game. Lineker will be one. Another could be Dutch goalkeeper Dirk Havener, although he's played in Japan for seven years and has applied for Japanese citizenship. One uh, guy get it in seven months, another guy get it in two years, so I have to wait. So it's now around seven, eight months, so maybe two, three months more. So maybe you could get citizenship in time to play in the World Cup finals? I hope so, <laughs> yeah. I just thought nice. maybe you could get citizenship in time to play in the World Cup finals. <laughs> I'll probably get more chance of getting picked. <laughs> I wonder if that's crossed anybody's mind here, that that could happen. Um, it's, no, no, that will not happen, believe you me. I am English. Nagoya is Japan's third largest city, population over two million. It was completely rebuilt at the end of the Second World War, and its fortunes have risen as it's developed into perhaps the country's manufacturing capital. And at the core of that industrial base, Toyota. The giant motor car corporation are based within an hour of Nagoya and effectively they control Grand Passate. The Lineker residence is in the leafy suburb of Nanzam. And should they wish to borrow a bowl of rice, they shouldn't have a problem with the neighbours. Mr Toyota, the chairman of the company, lives right next door. Lineker 
As the Linnikers survey what lies ahead of them, they know that overcoming the language barrier won't be easy. Finding a route from A to B isn't easy either, but once you get there, there's much to enjoy. And this week, there's been a house guest to show around. For a trip to Nagoya Castle, Gary's grandmother, Alice, was joined by wife, Michelle, and son, George. He's soon to be joined by a brother or sister. You know, don't you? Alice in Wonderland, perhaps. For Gary and Michelle, Japanese lessons underway, traditional customs to get used to. Oh, very much so. I mean, it's all, all the bowing is... Um, you, you don't look at the face, you look at the floor, because the whole thing's, you know, to make the other person feel sort of better than you and, and, and things like that. And, um, they're very polite, uh, very kind and friendly. They, they can't do enough... Put him down. They can't do enough to, to help you. Um, but at the same time, they, they like to do things properly, and there's also the thing, of course, of, about face and and losing your, your pride and things like that. So everything has to be done right. George seems really happy with the he's, space and the parking. He loves it here. He's, he's really happy. You know, we were back in England for 10 days and um, we came back home here and it was just sort of as though he'd lived here all his life and he was running around and he remembered where his little friends lived and he, he was really happy. Mm. He'd be picking up Japanese words, I wouldn't he? He is. He's bowing already. He's, he's starting to bow. And, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he likes playing with the Japanese children because they're so fond of him because they always want to touch him and follow him everywhere. So he's a big star here. <laughs> like his father. Bigger, I think, than his father. <laughs> In the promotional build-up to the start of their season, the Grand Passate squad made a public appearance in a top department store early this week, and as always, Gary Lineker made all the right moves and all the right noises. The reaction to Lineker-san has been one usually reserved for pop stars. Grampus Mania. Yeah. Is it always like this? Uh, well, not at home. But <laughs> it is if there's anything public like this, they just turn out. I've told you they've gone crazy for the game and it's all new and they're all very excited. Quite suddenly, a passionate young audience has been attracted to soccer. The J League has received enormous financial backing from top Japanese companies, but it has to be successful if Japan is to achieve its goal of hosting the 2002 World Cup finals. They want it and they're promoting it very well and I've seen the way they've marketed the, the start of the J-League and how they've generated the interest of the people here. Um, it's just it's overwhelming. So if they can do that, then I'm sure that they can attract um, the right publicity for 2002 and they'd do it right, without a doubt. Lineker has been getting it right in the recent pre-season friendlies. He scored in the victory over Lazio and two more goals against the Brazilian side Gremio Two fine results after Grampus lost at Leeds. Down at pitch level, it seems there's been few communication breakdowns. The funny thing is, on the field, it's not a problem because practically everything is, is, is English expressions. They, like they'll say, um, nice shot, though. <laughs> it's like a good shot. and um, Corner and free kick and um, offside and everything. Even when the ball goes out of play, you'll see all the Japanese hands go up and they'll all say, my ball. So, I mean, practically everything from somehow they've picked up from, from the English game. Pass down the back goal, pass down the back goal. England's Mr Football has been given a warm welcome from the Japanese players. They openly admit they want to follow his example as a professional. When, when the problem happened, he, he talked to me in Japanese sometimes, <laughs> and sometimes in English. But he, he teach me a lot. So... How is his Japanese? Good? Very good. Yeah, he, he learned in Britain last year. So... He can speak very nice Japanese. No problems. No problem, I think. 
It's been a relaxed Gary Lineker in Japan this week. Grand Pass 8 opened their season away at Kashima Antlers, who will include the Brazilian Zico. Lineker will go into the game with, for him, the unlikely nickname of the Noble Barbarian. Noble. <laughs> Noble Barbarian. Don't bet on it. Having scored goals all over the world, the Noble Barbarian has a yen to score a few in Japan. For me, it's just a great, it's a great challenge. It's something totally different, something very exciting and, and totally new. The start of a professional league to, to help promote soccer and, and to live in a country like this is um, a fantastic opportunity and a fantastic experience and one that we're really going to try and enjoy, and I'm sure we will. <laughs> International linguist Ray Stubbs reporting there on Gary Lineker, who begins his big season very shortly for Grampus Aid. Here's the man who signed it.